Hi and welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about Dapper. Dapper is a simple object mapper for .NET and you can install it very easily using install package Dapper. And uh, basically it can replace entity framework and do things faster. So the key feature of Dapper is performance and they have done lots of tests showing that so the main reason that you would want to use Dapper is performance, but there are uh, some features in Dapper that you cannot get from Entity Framework. Uh, we will talk about that later, but for now, let's just use Dapper in a simple as the core project and uh, see how it works. So I have a basic as the core project and let's install Dapper. We have Dapper 2.0 installed now. And I can go to my home controller and start using it. So first you need to create a connection. I am doing it like this. There are some namespaces that you need to add. These namespaces are from SQL client and system data. And uh, they are not related to Dapper. Uh, basically it's adu.net. So for this project to work, you need these two packages and then if you add system data, then you are good to go. Uh, here you need to add the connection string. I am using AdventureWorks, which is a demo database that you can install from Microsoft websites. And down here, we are going to use Dapper. Let's add our query. Uh, I don't have a strong types like entity framework in here and i want to get first name middle name and last name from persons in database so this is the query i am going to run over my database do this let's go to connection and query queue and we can convert it to list and then we can send it back to the user and let's add a root here okay let's go to api and as you can see i am receiving data uh, but there are just too much data it will take a while uh, one of them to show up here uh, but it works you can do a string types in like this. I can create an object like person and then I can query person and this time I will get better results and I can add a top 10 just uh, to get a faster result and let's run the project again. So this time it's much faster. We have less data uh, and on the code side, we have a strong type, which makes it easier to work with data. So here, Dapper is reading data and mapping them to uh, C-sharp objects. And then you can work with it in different ways. You can also do async await like this async uh, task of i action result and let's do query async and after you are finished with our task that we can convert it to a to list and let's run the project again so let's refresh it again and we get the same thing but this time we are using async await so the best thing that you get out of dapper is performance uh, but in order to get higher performance in dapper they got rid of many features that you get in entity framework it's like a nascar or rally car uh, to get to get more performance to go faster and they remove anything that is unnecessary or looks luxurious and uh, that's always the case uh, with performance you uh, need to carry less load uh, to go faster 
So one of very important features of Dapper is multiple results. Multiple results is not available in entity framework, but you can do this in tools like ADU.NET. In ADU.NET, coding uh, multiple results are difficult, uh, but Dapper makes it uh, a lot easier. You can write uh, all your queries in a query and uh, use query multiple uh, to run them all at the same time in one connection session and get the results back. And it is uh, important uh, the aspect of performance uh, sending less connections to your SQL server uh, can be very helpful also you can mix and match in your projects you can use dapper and entity framework in the same project uh, you can use entity framework for things like change tracking and code first and for multiple results or reading uh, data or updating data in a faster way you can use dapper especially if you uh, mix that with mediate r uh, then the management of that project would be much easier and, and that's usually how uh, enterprise projects work so that's it for today thanks for watching and see you soon